worked in a supermarket. Oh. Did I say I was a boy? <laughs> Guess I wasn't. I was a girl. I sick. With the Evian flu. I shared a bottle of Evian with a stranger at the gym. James isn't just good looking. He's also charming and smart. And could pound me like a piece of veal. <laughs> what? You guys were thinking it. I was. I am now. Um, could I have my purse? <laughs> sure, honey. Condoms, but no breath mints. Chase. Huh? Stop staring at me. What are you all looking at? That freak whose left leg is three eighths of an inch shorter than the right. Jen, please, if they were looking at anyone, it was me. My boob popped out before you got here. Apparently, it stayed out for quite some time. I only realized it when Smitty lifted it to get his tip. <laughs> Gonna take the bait? Sit up straight. Straighten your hair. Get a straight guy. Find a man. Find a man. Find. Oh, look. The giraffe is peeing. <laughs> That's hilarious. I should find an apartment closer to the zoo. To quote Morgan Freeman in almost any movie, you should listen to me, white girl. My life. I'm dating Malcolm. I've joined Curves. <laughs> oh. And I finally got into the Harry Potter books. You know, I say I root for Gryffindor, but secretly I love my Slytherin boys. <laughs> oh, here comes my serious moment. Turn it up, Hector. Can I speak seriously for just a moment? There is one thing I don't like. I don't like gay men. from you. I'm sorry, Karen. I literally peed two minutes ago. <laughs> Not that. I'm trying to teach my staff how to spot terrorists. Could you come by around three o'clock and dash through the foyer with a backpack? <laughs> oh, no, thank you. I don't feel like... Don't know why there's no sun in the sky. Jack, you and I need to... Oh, I'm sorry. In the middle of a number, I can come back. <laughs> Hardcore lesbian. Mm. I'm into leather play, butch black girls, skunking, pulling the blinds, and poodle balling. <laughs> Whatever you got, I'll eat it, snort it, or ride it, baby. Your new maid threatened me. She said she'd peel me like a banana. A what? A banana. A what? She said she cut my junk off. You still have a little bit of my lipstick on your mouth. Do you want to get it off? Yeah. I want to get it off. I want to get it off right now. Who else can use a drink? Hi, Autumn Carnival, benefiting Project Angel Food. Are you okay? 
Project Angel Tush. Will, America doesn't like to think of you as sexual. You look good. Did you get a little touch up today? Did they tighten around you? Oh, yeah. Well, I can teach you. Just like I taught you how to trim around your nipples so your hair doesn't look like crazy eyelashes. Yeah, after you put mascara on. Did they or did they not pop? Karen, come with me. No, I won't. I'm seeing Malcolm now. I want you to accept that and bless our union. I can't do that. Bless it. No. Bless it. No. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> no one can see us talking. Quick, I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> the mother of a gay son learns to accept him for who he is, except for the sex. <laughs> the gay son learns to accept the mother for who she is, except for the sex. <laughs> So I'll see you both tomorrow afternoon. I'll be receiving from 5.30 till 6.30. Boy, that's gotta be a long hour for you. <laughs> I've hidden inside this horse a state-of-the-art camera and microphone. <laughs> Can you tell? Honey, I can't even see the horse. <laughs> Look who's here. Hi, Grandma. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> you know, I, I think she should call me Marilyn. Her real grandmothers in China might get upset. <laughs> uh, Mom, you are her real grandmother, and uh, thank you for hugging her instead of bowing to her like you did on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Warbly sometimes. Mine's a little more pure. <laughs> when you read, you begin with Christ, Christ, Christ. <laughs> Could I pay you to have a baby for me? What? No. Having a baby is one of nature's most sacred miracles. You can't put a price tag on that. A hundred grand, and I'll throw in a tummy tuck after you pop. <laughs> Mary Jane, cover for me. I'm going on maternity leave. <laughs> you know, well, I really loved your father. Um, this one time, I called and told him I was in the hospital and I needed $5,000, and he just sent it to me, no questions. You did Shh. what? Shh. We're celebrating, we're celebrating. <laughs> Her baby takes the morning train. It works from nine to five with that. Tonight on The Badge. Okay, scumbag, this is the end of the road and you're out of gas. I'm Chuck Rafferty, and this is the last stop on this train. Check the overhead bins before I punch your ticket. Oh my God, that's not my voice. I've been dubbed. Why would anybody dub my voice? How do you think that's upsetting? Check this out. Ah! Isn't that funny that Beverly would proposition me like that? I mean, why on earth would I ever take him up on it no matter how much money he offered me? Karen, you accidentally hit the stop button with your shoe. <laughs> and you accidentally smashed my face into the wall. Hey, what's that? It's my cell phone. Uh, cool ringtone, honey. Thanks. I miss a lot of calls, because I like to get all the way to the ding a ling a ling <laughs> Oh, it's Elliot. Oh, it's Elliot. Oh, hello, Elliot. Are you hiding, you naughty boy? You're not out there on the balcony, are you? You know I'm frightened to go out there. Well, maybe it's not that windy. Ooh, it's a little blustery. Well, well, well. <laughs> 